The 1920s represented the era of greatest output in the U.S. movie market. The 1920s was largely dominated by silent movies, but the addition of synchronized sound was slowly introduced. Movies were an art form that had universal appeal. Their essence was entertainment but their success, financial and culturally, was huge. They made people laugh and forget their troubles, making the world a happier place to live in after the horrors of World War I. The first early silent movies were often accompanied by live piano or organ music. It wasn't until 1923 that sound was really introduced to the majority of the public. It took another seven years, though, for these movies with sound to catch on and dominate the silent movies. The first movie theaters were called Nickelodeons like these. In the 1920s, movie stars were a lot like they are today with all their money, fame, and cultural influence. 100,000 people would go to meet Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks at a premiere. It took a while for the sound-synchronized movies to start paying off. The Warner Brothers Vitaphone sound on disc system was used for the movie The Jazz Singer, which really started the public craze over sound-synchronized movies. Talkies were a name given to sound-synchronized films so that they were more easily identifiable for the public. Hollywood had become the center of movie making in the U.S. in 1927. An average of 800 films were produced annually. Although developments in color and sound were still in the experimental stage, a strong demand for movies and therefore potential for profit, encouraged production of talkies for commercial release 